tragic proof that trimming palm trees is absolutely a dangerous activity. We told you about a suffocation in a palm tree trimming incident in Yuma. New helmet cam footage showing Fresno fire crews coming to the rescue of a worker stuck in that tree worker is dead after he was crushed by 700 pounds of palm fog. The man has just fallen 30 feet from a palm tree on his head. Hello, this is Bino. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. What I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. Today, what we're gonna do is talk about and react to palm tree fatalities. If you're a tree climber or a tree care person in the trade working on palm trees, or if you're a homeowner and you're planning on hiring some work out on palm trees, we're gonna go over some of the do's and don'ts on it. So this video would be perfect for you. Palm tree fatalities happens pretty frequently. So frequently that the American National Standard Institute has created regulations regarding it. In one of their regulations pertaining to palm tree trimming, it states that if a palm tree has three years of dead growth, that you are, or you shall not trim from underneath. You should trim from above. So how would you do that? How do you trim above? You would either use a boom truck, but a lot of the times palm trees are in backyards, they're really tall, and you can't take a boom truck there. You can install ropes over the top of the canopy of a palm and climb into that. Now people are thinking that that's insane because what everybody normally does is they get spikes. You know, they put um, things called climbers, there's spikes on your feet and you got a lanyard and they'll spike up the tree and they'll trim a palm tree from underneath which is a recipe for disaster when it comes to palm trees with three years of dead growth. Once you get to that point and you cut through it, the, so the way, the way the palm trees are grown, they have petiole bases and they, they grow over each other. Um, and they're really strong normally. But what happens when you get so high on the tree, maybe 40 feet, they become soft and they're able to slough off. Now, if you were that person who was underneath and you trimmed all the solid stuff and you cut the solid away, now that cylinder will come down on you and they won't come apart very easily, but that's a lot of weight and that's how people will die. Um, it's a horrible way to die. Um, it takes a long time to, to have somebody rescued from that. So talking about ways of not having that happen is really important to me. So as I was mentioning, that way of using um, a rope to um, climb above the dead canopy, there is a system. Um, a lot of times in, in people in the trade, they use something called a dopro rope technique. It's also known as the MRS system. What you can do is you can throw a rope over the top of the canopy and then you can climb past that. So this first clip I got for you, it's Martin and Rip. They're Arbor Master trainers and they're showing you how they've installed a, a rope over the top of a canopy. So what they've done here is they've thrown that rope over, they connected to another line and brought it over. They did it right near the ter terminal end. And now what they're gonna do next, or what they did next, is they put a pulley on that rope and then they pulled that rope all the way to the top of the canopy passing all the dead fronds. So this next example here is where they, uh, they're showing how you can go past the canopy. So right here, Martin's got to the dead section and he's easily going to go past the dead. Now see where his feet are. At that point, if you were underneath those fronds and say that soft section was there, that whole canopy could come down on you. But so easily, He's gone to the top where the pulley is set. He's able to get to the top. And at that point, when he reaches there, now he could trim all those fronds and there's no worry about him becoming a victim. What's important too is if, if you were spiking up a tree and um, you're at the top, you're basically stuck to the canopy or stuck to the stem and there's really nothing you can do. Things like wasp or uh, a rat or something that comes out at you and you need to get out of the tree quickly, no way you can do it if you're in a um, spiking situation. So this next clip, what what is shown here is that, yeah, if you have an MRS system and you're at the top, 
definitely you can get out of the tree pretty quickly. So he's at, he's at the top, and if something happened, he could just come right out of the tree. Doesn't have to worry about spikes. See how easily he can move down past the canopy. So that's one way of preventing an accident from happening using an MRS system. So more lately, there's another technique called a stationary rope technique where it's a stationary line, same concept. You would throw a rope all the way over the top and then you would just connect yourself with a either like a, a mechanical friction hitch or a rope wrench. Um, you know, those are meant for stationary rope techniques. So in this clip, I'll start this clip up. This guy's Alex and he's, um, sh you know, actually working out in the field. He has a video of it and you'll see that he'll clip himself in and now he's going to put foot ascenders on. Once he put his foot ascenders on, it's just like walking up a ladder. So, uh, yeah, right now he's getting to the point where he's going to put his um, ascenders on. That's a foot ascender. And the next one he'll put is a knee ascender. Now, once he does that, it's, it's fairly simple. And what he's using is something called a zigzag and a chicane. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so here you go. Now, he starts walking up the tree, just like it's a ladder. Um, not connected to the palm, not spiked in. Now, he can make it to the canopy fairly simple. So the, the next clip that I want to show you, it's still Alex who is getting close to the top of the canopy. And what he shows here is how easily these pedio bases can come off. Now, at that point where he took them off, everything above that could um, come off really simple and slide down. And now if you're a guy and you're underneath that, those fronds would trap you and, and that wouldn't be, I mean, that would be completely a horrible situation because just more likely if that happens, you wouldn't be able to get out of that situation. So what's um, nice about this system is then once he gets to the top, he'll be able to lanyard in and just start taking care of the, the dead fronds and he would be safe. You know, I, I know what people are thinking, like how in the heck could you throw ropes on a palm tree that's in a backyard? There's no way you can take a truck there, but how can you get a rope on a palm that's like 90, 100 feet tall? There's just no way. Well, there, there definitely are ways that you can do it. And um, there is a, here, I'll get to this clip here. This is something called a big shot. Now with a big shot, virtually it's a slingshot. You throw a rope ball on it and then you shoot it into a tree. Now here's an example. This is Tree Care LA and um, they're shooting into a Mexican fan palm and I think this palm is like 90 feet tall. Um, so here we go. Shoots it. You can see how it goes completely pretty much a straight line and directly over the palm where they want it to be. Nice way to install. Um, also if, if the palms are way too tall, there's another clip from Tree Care LA where um, this guy is, I think, Nick from Tree Care LA. And what he does, if, if they're too, too tall, he has this drone system. So what he's explaining with his system here is that um, he gets a lighter cord and he installs it underneath the drone. And he'll do that right now. He connects this string on there. The drone captures it. And now what he'll do, he locks it in and then he's going to send the drone up, which, you know, you're in a backyard. You can't, if, if a big shot doesn't work, but you got to get these palm trees trimmed. This is a real good way to do it. I'm going to fast forward a little bit here. So he's already connected it to the drone and now the drone's up in the air. And so I'm sure he can visibly see the terminal end. And it, what's important is that when you're using something like this, that the string goes to the terminal and on some of the side fronds. So it's close to the center of the palm. 
Um, there's no way that they can slip out. Palm fronds are very strong, um, and they can hold a person's weight. It's not like um, something that's going to break. And you don't have to worry about the terminal end breaking. So he passes the palm with the drone. And at this point, he's still going a little bit further. And when he gets, it looks about 20 to 30 feet past it. At that point, he's going to drop the shot bag. And so what that does, it passes the main point and then it swings down. Now they'll be able to capture the ball and then they can um, change out their rope to a climbing line. And that's that's a really awesome situation. It's something that can be done. Um, so it, aside from just installing and, and climbing with the ropes, something that's important to know about palm trees is the, um, you know, there's things that can cause a palm tree to die. There's something called fusarium. And in the past, it was only Canary Island palms that could get infected by that. Fusarium is a fungus that can kill um, plants. Lately, especially here in California, there are palm trees that are, are different strands of fusarium that are killing palm trees. Um, I'm hearing about queen palms and Mexican fan palms are starting to die from fusarium. So if you're a guy who's spiking up a tree, you can infect that tree with fusarium. Better not to spike, it's better to maybe climb with ropes. So if they're really short, ladders are great. But having the technology and the knowledge to use ropes to climb palm trees, it's huge for your, for your you know, it's a life-saving thing. Also, it's what's better for the tree. Um, another good point. So there's another clip here. This, this next clip that I wanna um, show you is um, these, this is over here in California, um, like San Diego area, and it was a palm tree rescue. So there's a guy named Lupio Santiago. He was in the area, and this I guess the fire department was already on site. What's tough about the fire department is they got to wait for their, lip, their, their ladder trucks, and sometimes they can't reach depending on what the ground is. So what was really awesome and amazing that Lupio was in the area. Um, he had another guy with him. I don't know the guy's name, but um, this is a section of the rescue. They actually were in the area, so they rescued this guy from a palm tree, which is really huge. So they've already got their lines up. I think they have spikes on too, but they got to him. You can see how they're pulling these fronds. They're pulling them off the guy. So that, that guy was stuck there. He couldn't move. Um, he was pinned because all of the weight. Now what they're doing, they're opening up this palm. They're making it, um, they're saving him. You know, I'm, they got it. It's all free. So now he can breathe. And now the next step for them is they're going to connect a rope to him. Because he was in spikes, you just can't get him down to the ground. So what they do is they install a rope on the tree with like a pulley or a carabiner. And now the next step is to start bringing him down. So lucky for that climber that these guys were in the area. Um, it wasn't a fatality. He's, he's, he's able to, to keep on going, you know, working. So the thing is, when it comes to the palm tree fatalities, it's not um, people who are, you know, it happens to people who maybe don't know what they're doing. But also, it's not just that. There are veteran climbing arborists who are really great at what they do. And they just may not know about the situation with the dead fronds. So there's been lots of people who are very skilled at what they do and they become a fatality because they are not aware of this. Um, it's a real huge point to know about. If you're a homeowner and you're hiring somebody and you say have lots of dead growth underneath your palm and that person that's gonna do the work is gonna enter from underneath, that should be a red flag to you. Um, understand that lots of dead and somebody gonna trim from underneath, that is a recipe for disaster. Um, and if you guys have friends who are in the trade and they're great climbers, but they still climb from underneath, you, you wanna make sure that they aren't, um, that they're aware of what can happen if there's lots of dead growth. So um, they were, we, we talked about people who spike up trees. Now there's, you know, if you're spiking up a tree, if you're a climber and you're spiking up a tree, but you got no other way 
to get down. There's other techniques that you can use. And here's a real cool example of it where it's back to the Arbor Master trainers, Martin and Rip, where they're showing a technique that you can use if you have to spike up. Because it's not against the, you know, uh, trimming standards to spike up palm trees and people still do it. I, I, it's not one of the best methods, um, but it's still being done. This example here, what they do is they have something called a tree squeeze. What it essentially is, it's like a friction saver. So um, this tree squeeze is really stiff and you can see what they're going to do. He's going to put that around the tree and once he does that, he's going to set it up and he's going to put his MRS system. Now, it doesn't just have to be an MRS system. You can also use a stationary rope system with that or in a stationary rope system, you can also connect it to itself. And if you have spikes, what you can do is what he'll show right now. So he's got it set up and he's going to get his spikes into the tree. And once he does that, he'll um, proceed up the tree. I'll let you watch this real quick. A couple of seconds. So here he goes. He climbs up a few feet. Now he's getting his lanyard set. There he goes. A couple feet up. He's spiking. Now right here. So there you go. If if he's in a risk kind of a, a position where he needs to get out of the tree quickly, if he just had a lanyard, he'd be stuck there. But having this secondary option that he could come out of the tree easily, just like if you had it tied to the top. See how easily he can come down, let his lanyard go, and now he could descend to the ground. So those are the clips that I wanted to share with you guys. What What's important for me is that, you know, it, it's... Like I mentioned earlier, it's a, a situation that happens really frequently. And in California, it happens a lot. And I think um, even last week, we're in February 2023. Um, last week, there was another fatality in this area. Um, I, and, and honestly, it's not people who are just don't know what they're doing. There's people who are very talented climbing arborists. And, and they just don't know about this situation. So my hope is, same is that when you know if if you're a guy who's been in the trade and you have a friend who's um, trimming trees from underneath these palms from underneath hey let him know if you're a homeowner and you're you're hiring somebody and you find that they're going to start from underneath and you have lots of dead on your tree try to let them know that that's probably not the best way to to do it so my hope is that people um are aware of this uh they pay attention to it and we get a lot less fatalities. This is something that really could change. I mean, we, we don't have to hear about people dying because they were crushed by dead palm fronds. Or if they were up a tree and they cut their lanyard and they fell out of a tree and fell to their death. You know, there's a few different methods you can use. There's an MRS system with a pulley on top. You can also use an SRS system where you throw the rope over the top and you ascend upwards. And if you are still using a spiking situation, you can have a secondary tie-in point where, um, you know, if you cut one line, you still got another. And if you really need to come down fast, you can descend to the ground. So anyhow, that's um, what I have to say to you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoy this video, video and I really hope you get some knowledge out of it. And um, if, you're, if you know people in the trade, hopefully you pass it to them. And this happens a lot less frequently, or maybe it ends. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys get something out of it. Um, remember, if you guys have people, friends in the trade, or if you have, you know, people who are planning on doing palm tree trimming, share this video, spread the word. Let's do our best to have this type of situation, tree, palm tree fatalities, not to happen. Um, as always, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our video. Take care. We'll see you next time.